A rise in violent attacks against Jews in and around New York City in recent weeks has members of Congress now promising to take action. This as police increase patrols in Jewish neighborhoods. It's all in response to a series of attacks, including one during Hanukkah, where five men were stabbed. In Muncie, New York, an impassioned plea to stop anti-Semitic violence. Please, let's stand up together and stop the hatred. The daughter of Joseph Newman says doctors are not optimistic the 71-year-old will fully recover. Newman is one of five Jewish men injured when an attacker armed with a machete burst into a Hanukkah celebration Saturday. His family released this hospital room picture. We blurred some of Newman's most extreme wounds. He really may never, ever speak again or wake up or walk. The incident, just one of several attacks on Jews in and around New York City in recent weeks. The violence has alarmed government leaders and put Jews on edge. Wherever I walk, I walk with the pepper spray. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. There is now an increased police presence in several Jewish communities. We look at the threat picture, what the priorities are at the time. Uh, obviously an uptick in anti-Semitic uh, feelings out there, unfortunately, and um, that's why we're here. And members of Congress are vowing to increase security at high-risk institutions. What's happening here in New York is happening across the country. And it's time that we as members of Congress say, enough is enough. We are not going to stand for anti-Semitism. A call to action to stop violence fueled by hatred. And the suspect in the machete attacks, Grafton Thomas, faces several state and federal charges, including hate crime violations. His attorney says Thomas has a history of mental illness, but not anti-Semitism.